This is journal number nine. Yeah, let's just get straight into it. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate and today I have a very exciting flip throw. Flip throws are obviously the best type of journaling video, at least in my opinion. I feel like a lot of people agree on that though. I finished this like a while ago. I finished it November 16th, 2021, and I'm just now filming this. I think it was even done when I filmed my last journal flip through. This is what it looks like on the cover. I've talked about this journal before. It's from Target, at least that's where I got mine from, and I don't really care for this cover. Why I got it was because I love PVC clear cover, and then also the paper pages on the inside. It's really cool, at least in my opinion. It is grid on one side and then it is ruled on the other and has the date at the top. And I love that so much. It's one of my favorite types of journals now. As you can see, there's like a couple blank pages in the back, but you can see that that's how all the pages are. The left side is grid and the right side is the ruled with the date. And so I have more of these journals. I did a journal essential video I think I think that was the one I was in where I talked about this type of journal and I got multiple of them because I love them so much but I put the stickers on the cover because I thought it was so cool how like I don't know I just liked how it lifted over I don't know you also could do it where you put the stickers on this cover and then it the clear will protect it but I just liked how it looked when you lift it like that I don't know why I like that so much but this is my favorite art store I live in St. Louis and so I got that from there this is from Redbubble it's my my future by Billie Eilish. I don't really know how I feel about Billie Eilish I, right now. I want to like her, but I don't know. This is from an Etsy. I'm not sure which one. This is also from an Etsy. I'm not sure which one. I can see if I can figure it out. These little flower stickers are from Dollar Tree. This was like from a bookstore. I don't really remember. This is from an Etsy. I also have a sweatshirt like this. And this is from my childhood and i added it along the way when i was like decluttering stuff in my grandparents place there's like things i used to use when i was a kid so we've got this cover and then this is my inside starting page i don't know if i ever did a video of this or if this is on the internet i don't know if i did this i might have decorated this on youtube we'll see i don't know you'd have to check my youtube page for that i'm not gonna look right now this is one of my stickers so you can still get this on my etsy but hopefully by the time this is posted these will also be posted so i have some new stickers on my etsy coming I've got strawberry mobile and space cow and individual stickers and then we have my first ever sticker sheet which i am very very excited for back to this this was like probably from a magazine or something i like using magazine cutouts sometimes when i'm feeling fancy in my journals um this is volume number nine if i didn't say that i started this june 12th 2021 and i ended it november 16th 2021 this one took me kind of a while for myself and that's okay it's okay to work at whatever journal pace sometimes i'm like journal youtube it might you might feel pressured to like journal really fast but it's really just how you do it and what makes you happy in this it was a bigger journal and i wasn't always in the best mood i guess to journal every day as well that's a big difference like when i'm journaling every day i go through journals faster but when i'm not there's obviously a difference but for me it's a big difference and i put a quote from wherever this was in this magazine or whatever a very little key will open a very hard door from charles dickens i don't even know if i fully know what that means but it's supposed to be inspiring okay so june 12th is where we start saturday this is also like a magazine cutout and it's funny because in this i talk about watching love victor season two and it was like oh it came out yesterday whatever but it's funny because it's like a year later and season three came out and so i had just watched that so it's funny and I wrote a lot of that thing. Be happy. It's one way of being wise. I went like to like a coffee place. See, I really put in a lot of effort, at least in the beginning with these spreads. And I think this journal turned out to be very pretty. This is like a little, this is a little like daily planner thingy that I just cut it. I just glued in here. I think it might be from an Etsy, but I'm not completely sure where. I might have to look that up. These stickers I got from Target. 
I can't really finish this, but at least I put something down. Like This is something I really like to emphasize on this channel when I talk about journaling. Putting something down is better than nothing. Like having this little paragraph that I wrote is so much better than if I just left it blank because now I at least get a little bit. <laughs> now that I'm reading this, it says I'm writing on Wednesday because apparently I set this page and never filled it out. And then even I'm trying to piece together what happened on Monday, but my text and photos aren't helping. So sometimes then I'll like look through to try to get clues of what happened that day so maybe if i it jogs my memory and it was a couple days ago then i can like write a little bit about it but this i couldn't even remember but you know me putting that there is at least like something for me to read now and it's interesting at least to me and it's better than a blank page but you can see like the thought in my decorations like the clouds with the rainbow and like the heat the matching colors i don't know this was a very thoughtful journal i think choice of one bro this was pride month it was pride month Mm -hmm. Tuesday. So this is like a little recap. I do this sometimes. I haven't been doing it a lot recently, but I always think it's a good idea. If you're struggling with like, I don't know, if the page intimidates you with like what to write and stuff, and like you want to record your day, but you don't necessarily want to write about it, doing it in bullet points can help. Just so you have something down on the page, like I said, like something better than nothing. It's not intimidating because you don't feel like you have to write a full page or just paragraphs some more spreads okay i got this in the mail from the school i'm attending which is my gut it's an art school and so of course it was an artsy thing let me not rip this okay i'm destroying this on accident maybe i shouldn't open it up right now because i'm gonna break it but i remember it was something about like drawing your dream or something and my dream is to live in a tiny house so i did it more in my style more fun kind of weird that's a tiny house because i really want to live in a tiny house so that's a fun little thing saturday this was my recent reads i love reading i would love to talk about books on this channel these were some recent reads probably in june or just like uh, around this time it looks like these were all in june i read honey and issues guide to fake dating made the best man win felix ever after the passing playbook and here the whole time it's a fun little spread cutie i got some boba father's day like i didn't really finish this this is definitely not finished here's some more i went to denver to see my sister i didn't even finish this like this was a journal of not finishing things but you can see how i put in more effort when it came to actually decorating it i love when i get stickers and like things from places i go and so these were all in denver um these are all in denver i hit a thousand subscribers very exciting and that was like a year ago now i'm so bad at like actually posting though that's the problem here we go we've got a little quote life is inherently risky there's only one big risk you should avoid at all costs and that is the risk of doing nothing at all by dennis wheatley i really like that quote and i put the non-binary flag because if you didn't know i'm non-binary and i do prefer they them pronouns but i really did enjoy that quote because it's better to just be yourself i guess is what i got from that here's another one i did if i did it with nail polish i used to do that more where i did non-binary nails right now i have these colors from julian and hollow taco if you know julian like jenna and julian he did a nail polish line with hollow taco as in simply nail logical and i got two of the colors great and i'm live i'm live is the purple great is the gray and it's a metallic gray it's fun and exciting i need to fix some of them i like how i put in a different kind of paper oh it's kind of coming up but I like the sounds and feeling again like this is nail polish nail polish is an interesting thing to use in journals we've got fourth of july and our seat thing this is one that i didn't finish of course some planning things dog sitting i've recently been doing a lot of dog sitting it's funny because it's a year later and these were with the same dogs okay wednesday a little bullet point list because you know what i said earlier sometimes it's just easier and it gets me to write more in the end kirby i freaking love kirby my phone case is kirby's the cover of my next journal which is the one i'm working on now has kirby's well it has kirby and waddle d well sleepy kirby sleepy kirby and here's the kirby i got little planning things like if you're thinking of things to do in your journal that's one thing i like to do is like try to plan things out and just incorporate it as a part of my journal as well as doing like everyday type writing things so i switch it up also like packaging and maybe just talking about what i got if i want to i can also just write anything around it this i didn't finish but there's still like more decorating and stuff 
Okay, it's very aesthetic. Back in Denver. Again, more like planning things. Like I like little things from like Etsy or like wherever you get it. Maybe it's like Shein or something. These ones actually might have been from there. But like I like those things where I can just glue them in easily to help me plan out my life. I never did anything to the spread, but that is my Etsy. Just, you know, might as well put that up there. Okay. Here we've got photos. Photos are such a treat in journals to me. And so this was from when my sister moved in to her apartment. So we were helping her move. And so there's the pictures that were from like a, they were from a disposable camera. And I don't know, I love pictures in journals. We went to Toledo, Ohio for a memorial service. And this is only pictures, which pictures speak a thousand words or whatever it is. So even though I don't have writing here, it's still something and it's more than something. Again, packaging. I think packaging is so much fun in journals. It says a lot. More pictures. I really need to update my journals with pictures because it's... I haven't been putting enough pictures in my recent journals or my recent journaling because this is a recent journal technically. I painted dinosaurs with my friends, by the way. It was like a dinosaur painting kit from like Amazon, maybe. Or maybe I just got plastic dinos and then we like painted them with them. No, I got a dino painting kit. It was made for kids and it was beautiful. Okay, this is when I went on vacation. That was a really nice vacation. We played Yahtzee as a family and me and my sister ended up doodling all over them. And then I drew my brother. I never actually wrote in this. God, I'm really bad at this. But I like when I add stickers. I haven't been adding this many stickers lately. Yeah, I forgot to write. I'm just gonna put papers in here and like tape this in somehow. The paper thing ends up being too big. Like there's too many, I think. I think that's the problem. I'll figure that out later. But I went to Phoebe Bridgers. This was the first time. I went again recently. It's very exciting. I went in September. It's funny because I use like some of the same tapes and stuff, which makes a lot of sense. Again, more from Phoebe. And I cut this out from my newspaper. Labor Day weekend. I'm really just loving how much effort was put into this. There's so much decoration and it's so interesting for me to look back on. National Portfolio Day. This was one I got in the mail. I did go to a National Portfolio Day. Like, oh, I love the decorations in this. This is making me so happy. I didn't finish this one, but you know, the effort was there. I got some clothes. Something got it, I got in the mail. I really only cared about the like college mail that was from art schools because that was all I was interested. Anything else was just dumb to me and I don't care. Got some Taco Bell. I guess I just made a page out of that. I like when I make stupid pages. I think they're fun. A lot of writing here. Is another one of these. I didn't actually do this one. I did the green one though. And it says, what's your biggest dream? And to draw it, went to some stores. These ones are all around each other by where I live, so. Went on a tour. Is this supposed to be here? I'm just gonna keep it here anyway. Um, like even this far in my journal, I still kept up with the decorations. Oh, this I went to a school play and there it had confetti. So I actually glued it into my journal. Here are the dollar tree stickers that I put on. Dollar Tree Hall Hello Weekend. Very exciting. I applied to college. Good news. Random writing. I don't know why I was spaced out like this. And this was like the last real one. And then there's some kind of doodles. And then a couple pages left. I think I just had to move on to the next one at that point. Although I like to completely finish journals, sometimes it's better to just go ahead and start the next journal so that you don't lose that momentum for your journals. Because sometimes if you just draw out a journal, it will end up making it so that you kind of lose your journal habit altogether. And so I try to avoid that. So yeah, now I'm working in this journal and I'm over halfway, but I've still got a good amount to go. Hopefully this one was inspiring just at all, because honestly, I really liked this journal. I I think I put in a lot of effort when it comes to decorating and I love that. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe.
hopefully I'm gonna continue to be posting and even just journaling outside of this. Check out my Etsy, it's Star Stationery Supply. It should be in the description. I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.